what's up YouTube it's Suka here and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, professional 3D text in Cinema 4D for our beginners so let's open up our Cinema 4D so <clears throat> first what you need to know is your render um, settings so this is your render preview rendering and render settings yeah um, so click over here for your render settings should come up like this so make sure it's on full render in general go over to output change your width to 120 80 and change your height to 720 and just make sure everything else is the same so it's like that width 1280 height 720 go to save change the format to PNG Go down here, click on Alpha Channel, and click on Straight Alpha, and that should be that for the, that should be lit that for it. <laughs> Sorry, um, multi pass. Leave it like that. Analyzing, change it to best for anti analyzing, and keep that as still image. Down to options, just keep that the same. So yeah, that's your render settings. Just close that down. So now what you want to do for your text, click on MoGraph up here at the top and go on Mo Text, and just move your camera around so it, your text is facing forward, just pull your text over. So it's like that, um, just go down here, change the name of your text or whatever you want, so I'll just write Zuka, like that. And just pull it over. Um, you can change your font, so change the font. Uh, I'm going to do this font. So it's like that. So I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. About that, that should do. So now I want it like that. Go to depth and change. It depends whatever font you're using, whatever looks better for your text. So I usually put my depth up at about 60. So put that at 60 depth, like that. And just you can space your text down here by horizontal spacing, just so it ain't like too close. Pull that over a bit. So it's like that now. So it should look going to your render preview. It should look something like this. <coughs> so what you want to do now once you got that done, go up here to your layer of text, hold on control and press C and then press V and it should make a cut like a a duplicated layer of your text uh, so mo text up here point one click on that and change the depth to about half of what the other one was so I usually put it down at about 35 so just go around the text and make sure it is centered in the middle and then bring it back down, center your text. Okay, so what you want to do now is go back up to your Motex dot one, go over to caps and change your start to fill a cap and your end to fill a cap. <clears throat> and you should see it gives us this nice 3D effect. So go into your preview, and it looks something like this. So now is the part to add in your colors. So go into materials down here and click on file. Uh, you can make your own materials, or you can download a material pack. So yeah, I'm just going to use a material pack. Mm. Desktop. Uh, there we go open so just wait for this to load mm. 
Okay, so now we're going to dilute it. Um, I'm just going to use two random ones. Uh, we'll put less on top to see what this looks like. Yeah, that should be all right. So we have that on top. We can use like, let's see. We'll use a cartoon red. I say that'll look nice. So go into your render view. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, you can add the lights on, so go over here, add on a light. See, pop over like that, up like that. Just try and get it whatever way you want, so whatever looks best for your text. It should give it like a a shine on your text. Like it just makes your text up like but more better as you can see. You just add on a light and position it wherever you think's best and it gives it that shine effect. <coughs> so now what once you have your text done <coughs> that's it done. So go up to your render up here, so click on rendering and it should render your text <coughs> so yeah this may take a minute so I'll pause it and then I'll come back so okay I'm back um, once that's done rendering go up to file save as and it should be on PNG style image and just click OK and just save it to wherever you want so just I'll save it to my desktop just write whatever you want and click save <coughs> and just close that down and it should be saved so once you open it now in your desktop you should have your 3d text so yeah that's it so um I'm going to show you another thing if you're getting uh, like a black screen whenever you're rendering like it doesn't show your image I'll show you how to fix that now, so just click on, like whenever you're done this, click on new. Um, add on like a cube and just click on it. And go up to edit. Go down to the bottom where it says prefer preferences. Click on preferences. Go down, go down to OpenGL. And make sure use OpenGL is unselected. Make sure it's not ticked. So yeah, just untick that of it, select it, and then close that down. And on your render options, what I find, if you put on global elimination and ambient inclusion, if you put that on, that usually gives me like a black screen render, so don't use them air too. Just leave it the way it is. And yeah, that's how you fake fix the black screen. And yeah, thanks for watching. If um, t leave a comment if you think I should do more tutorials on Cinema 4D. Yeah, peace out.